Hey guys, welcome to Car Guy 1999 Reviews as well as Quark Auto Dealers. Today we have the 2020 Chevrolet Equinox Midnight Edition. As you can tell, the Midnight Edition basically blacks out everything. You got blacked out badges, blacked out wheels. Uh, this one's based on the LT trim and it looks the part. Powered by the 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder, made it to, I believe, the eight speed. No, nope, six speed automatic. Uh, 34,570. Uh, so you have jet black leather appointed seating, the 19 inch wheels, the black surround grill, dark finish fog lamp surrounds, uh, the mirror inside rear view auto dimming, uh, driver auto dimming with turn signal indicators, which is the stuff here. So it's really an appearance package that looks really, really good. Nice back seat area. Everything's nicely bolstered too. That that was a surprise. Um, so when you sit inside, it hugs you really, really well. Tons of room out back. Nice power lift gate. Equinox kick plate. Inside, really, really nice interior for the segment. Nice deep center console. There's your auto dimming rear view mirror. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take it out on the road. Put it right into drive. You do have um, two main drive modes. Not really drive modes, more drive train modes. Uh, well, not including the transmission in low, which is you can set a gear limiter. So say if you don't want it to pass third gear, it won't. Pretty cool. Uh, but you can drive dedicated two wheel drive or dedicated all wheel drive uh, just with a push of the button right here. Now we're in all-wheel drive mode. Without all-wheel drive mode, it is a front-wheel drive based system, but it's still really, really good. Does provide a good amount of grip uh, up until the turbocharger starts to overwhelm the front tires with the uh, amount of torque that it produces. Uh, that's also the fact that it just rained, so the roads were a little greasy little bit of slip and slide and going on because uh, we haven't had rain in a while matter of fact tonight we actually have a trop tropical storm coming through so tomorrow's videos um, videos that I'm filming tomorrow we'll see what happens um, if there's a tree down or something like that I might have to change everything a little bit Overall driving dynamics, it's very, very car-like. Uh, something I really wasn't expecting too much of. I expected it to drive kind of like an SUV, but no, it's very, very car-like. Um, nice, easy to drive, good amount of torque and power.
been a while since I've been behind the wheel of an Equinox. And I'm actually pretty impressed. Shares the platform with the GMC Terrain, of course. Um, so they're very, very similar driving experiences in terms of the platform and handling. Uh, the interiors are a little bit different, but not vastly. Behind the wheel, you have multifunction controls. Driver side behind the wheel is your volume up and down. Your no, wait a second. Right side is your volume up and down. The left side goes through your favorites in your uh, playlists. extremely comfortable um, all of the materials in here nice decently soft touch leather wrapped wheel feels great to the touch Brake pedal feel is really, really good. Very progressive. Uh, not, not too much on the initial press, which is good for the customers of this vehicle. Most likely as a family, um, you're going to be carrying some passengers around. So you don't really want to jerk them around too much when you go to press on the brake. So it's nice that it's a uh, progressive brake pedal. Nice, easy to modulate. Almost all of the torque is down low too, um, which is good again because you don't want to have to wind out the motor to get passing power. So very well done in here. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching, please like, share and subscribe, I'll see you all in the next one.